up YouTube and Facebook and welcome to Not Quite Mint. I'm Tom. And uh, I am Rich. He's back, everybody. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hopefully, hopefully I haven't got life crap uh, yeah. happening for, for a little short while, but hey ho, that's life, eh? Felicia back, mate. It's nice to have you back. I've got like you to talk to as well now. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Just, just like rather than talking to nobody or some other people just or some other people. Anyway, guys, <laughs> we are here to talk about our comic book hauls, uh, and we do have some special guests again uh, this week. So, should we get them in, Rich? I think we should do. And also, guys, all of these people that we're going to be introducing, as well as this channel, if you are new, do make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Hit that dingly bell, and he'll be happy over at uh, Perpetual that the dingly bell's back. And also smash that like button. But do go and visit all of our guest channels, as well as Perpetual, who's popped up in the chat. All of these guys, great UK comic, obviously, book, YouTube community. Go check them out and give them a sub. Absolutely, mate. So we'll get him on first, because it's his not-quite-mint virginity loss. Let's see it's old uh, Scott hey, Shell. Hey. Woohoo! Hello! Well, First time I'm not quite mint. Yeah, it is. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. I'm chuffed. I've been on your show. I think that's probably why I came on your show. It was like, oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he doesn't want to call our show. <laughs> no, thank you for asking me. I'm chuffed. Thank you for having me. It's just, uh, it's great to be here. Ah, oh, you're welcome, mate. You're welcome. Was it the first well, time that you 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 met Scott on a video? Was it when you crashed one of Geeky's videos or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, yes, I crashed. Did it one remind of you of? How awful your hair was looking at that point. I know my, yeah. my hair's way really <laughs> shit, but yeah. I, I literally got out of bed for that moment. You were in your pajamas. I was in my pajamas. <laughs> I was actually yeah. in bed watching the video, and oh, I was yeah. like, oh, Charlie was like, do you want to join? I was like, yeah, go on then. So I literally just got out of bed, <laughs> got on the sofa, away we go. Anyway, speak of the devil, he is yeah. here. He is Hello. Hey, How's everyone all right? All good? Yeah, not good too bad, mate. What about yourself? I'm all right. I ain't killed the kids yet, so killed yeah, the kids. Yet. So <laughs> <laughs> no, all good, all good. Good man, yeah. good man. Yeah, good, good, good man. And then finally, guys, as always, it's the mint from not quite in. Last but not quite least. Thanks, Rich. Said with so much enthusiasm as always. Can I just say, Rich, you were like, oh Tom, you've you've been speaking to nobody. Charlie. He's calling us nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> even, yeah, nobody, really. even a nobody is a somebody. Yeah. Well, Scott, I, I, I feel to like lose your uh, not yeah. quite mint virginity. Yeah. Well, yes. Just... Yeah. Did it hurt? Um, no, it was quite it was quite a smooth process, I think. Good. Yeah. They are gentle. Overall, gentle I people. had a good time. He's just not had the bill yet. That's, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Yeah, that's the stinger right at the end. <laughs> it's always the stinger right at the end. Thanks for having me back, as always. You're welcome, mate. Good night. It's going to be a bit of a, 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 a switch around today because I actually haven't got anything to show. So we're just going to go that way around. The other way, that way around. <laughs> we're going to start with me because I'll tell you what. I'm I'm like I'm lost because I think the last time that we did this whole thing was probably about I want to say three or four weeks ago. I think it was the first time that we we tried doing it. And it was just me and Tom, I think. I think. And then before that, me, me, you, and Ben were talking about X of Swords and the least yeah. we can say about that. The better. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. not. I think those videos out. have been removed, haven't they, from YouTube? I think they've they've gone, haven't they? I've reported. Yeah. Them. Well, I, I flagged them up as a fan. I'll, yeah. I'll report them as well. I was <laughs> like, this is these these are abusive videos towards yeah. people who want to watch that. Yeah. Especially X Men fans, definitely. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll I will whiz through my haul now. I have, well, I appeared up on uh, Perpetual Comics's show when he had a bit of a haul, and I had to explain again because I've disappeared off the planet. Haven't really been reading comics and just sorting, as I say, life stuff out. Um, I had a lot of packages that had arrived over Christmas and just after Christmas that I needed to open up and i've uh, i've saved back some for this show because i felt it was it was more it was the right thing to do but anyway first that's one, very noble of you i was Rich. just gonna say that <laughs> i yeah. i saved the content for my own channel so noble yeah. <laughs> <It's not selfie. laughs> 
<laughs> Go on, anyway, sorry. Um, look, I don't know. This is one that uh, I haven't. I haven't read this one yet, but it was in my pile, and it's um, it's the the new Last Witch. Have you read this, Scott? No. I, I, yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, sorry, but you read it's, it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's wicked. It's yeah. it's such a great read. It's yeah, not what you expect either, because I expected it no, to be not like, like a, a, a bit of a kids comic, but yeah. it, it starts that way. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, on the surface, cool. that looks like a, a, a kid comic. That's why, I, that's why I didn't go for it, because of how, I think, the premise of it. I was yeah. just like, no, nah, not for me. But I think, you... obviously, yeah, go on, Scott. I think with Boom Boombox is obviously... The, People think it's the kids aimed cartoon section of Boom and stuff, but honestly, as Tom said, it starts off like that. But I really, really enjoyed it. I, yeah. like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Scott, pick it up, mate. I know you like your in the Boom Studios, definitely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Scott, yeah. I would definitely put it on the level with um, Seven Secrets as as a concept. Why? Oh, okay. Kind of like really? you know, like underlining what's going on and the fact that there's a lot of emotion in it. It's yeah. Kind of that sort of level. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, at, look at Ben's face. Yeah. <laughs> Ben. So I, I am sorry to interrupt, Rich, but I think we, we just need to air this out. Okay, so yeah. these guys have been on at me for, uh, you know, weeks, months to, to get on certain things. And one of those things was Seven Secrets. Yeah. So I finally bit the bullet and read, uh, I'm going to say an issue and a half. And it was an issue and a half. <laughs> I will never get back. Uh, what? So, no. I'm sure we we reviewed the first issue, didn't we, as well, Tom? And and, and again, you were proper sold on it. Now I've, I've read I've read more since. I'm a couple of issues behind. But after the first issue, I was on the I was definitely on the fence. I was not I was not like hooked like I am on a lot of other indie ones that I've read recently. Like something killing the children, instantly on that one, and. Then yeah, seven secrets because I had to be really careful when we did the Ross Ritchie interview because he was talking about seven secrets and I hadn't caught up at that point and I was a bit oh, first issue, mm, you know. Yeah, but you can't, can't like that. everything, can you? No, you can't exactly. But well, unless uh, you're me, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> unless you're, you know deluded. Everybody knows that Tom just loves absolutely everything. Are we, are we, can we all agree on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, he loves me, and yeah, I know he not loves many you. people have that. <laughs> yeah, so. I've got a problem. I think he love everything and everybody. <laughs> yeah, but it does get better. I, I do agree. I think it's when it gets to about issue four and like the, mm. the sort of like the bad guys. Like I think issue three was a bit of a training episode and the training issue, and then they really ramps up after that, and there's a lot more uh, meat to it. So I did, I did. I did, I did like it, but whether it will be as hard as like Invincible or something like that, I'm not too sure. But I, yeah, it's better. It gets better. That's my view of Seven Secrets. I just wanted to wear it, so I'm sorry. I feel better now. Um, it, it's been sat on me. I'm glad you just broke my heart. So, so well, yeah, I, 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 I don't feel too good. <laughs> get it out there. Get over it. You know, and we're done. Right, so, sure. moving on to my next little pile. I've tried to, like, theme stuff so it all moves all nicely. Mm -hmm. So, over Christmas, I decided that I wanted to uh, start getting all, like, the Venom and carnage type of related sort of oh. keys because I've got some, but not, not a lot of, like, the mm -hmm. stuff from, like, the 90s. So, I went down the path of getting a nice copy of uh, nice. Lethal Protector. Nice. Yeah, yeah it is nice. It's mm. uh, it really is. I've been watching a couple on eBay and quite a lot. I'd like spine ticks or ding corners and stuff, and that is really, really clean. So, I will be potentially submitting that to be slabbed. Potentially, that was like the start of like anti hero yeah. vibes, wasn't it? For yeah, for yeah. It, I'm yeah. pretty sure, isn't that? Wasn't in that series the introduction of Scream and then the other. Uh, dudes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lethal Protector. I think it was. Uh, was it like Riot and Thrasher and stuff like that? Was it yeah. actually three or something you, like that? You so, could. You could honestly make them up, and I'd probably nod. Yeah. <laughs> but, Russia, that's Russia, 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 yeah. Russia, yeah. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. That's right. So, uh, we got that, and then, uh, and then I got those two. Now, you'll notice that there's there is one missing. 
so far, but I might be working on that. So it's 362-363, which is obviously second and third appearance of Carnage, um, because I haven't got 361, but that may be, may be making an appearance soon. And then, um, obviously, this one, uh, mm -hmm. 301. Now, this one, I had a really nice copy that I had slabbed in my first ever CGC submission, but I sold it and instantly regretted it. Um, so I've been waiting for a decent priced like copy, uh, and that I think would have been impressed. Hopefully, will be as good as the last one. I'm not sure though. And then, um, Amazing Spider Man, uh, oh, first. I like that. Um, nice. So that's that's I think, Ireland. yeah, and I think it's it's generally held as being like the first proper, first proper cover appearance of Venom as well. So that's, um, that's why I wanted to pick that up. But again, people are asking silly money for a lot of like the Venom stuff. So I've been being patient. Uh, and then this next one, it follows the sort of like the um, the theme of foil. So um, and you saw these the uh, the other day. Oh, oh man! Yeah. Oh, nice. So these are yeah. So they were, were a, a one stop comic shop exclusive cover. Wow. Uh, just bought it off them and that and it arrived and uh, that's the foil and then obviously that's the standard but it's an oh, Alan oh, oh. wraparound cover and it's just <laughs> the detail on it is stunning but yeah I'll probably sell that one and then get that one slabbed uh, what's where the better one with crossover are we enjoying it I, I I'm like it. crossover it's all right I think it's got a way to go I think it's like it's not turned out the way I kind of expected, mm. if that makes sense. But I'm so glad that I share the same opinions with everyone in the community because I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's yeah, it's it's sweet sweet nectar to me. But um, I, I'm surprised to hear that you're all got grumbles there. Oh, and I know James at Comic Deal whinges about it for an yeah. hour. He loves it. Really. <laughs> he loves it really. I think yeah, I think a lot of people had this big. Um, sort of anticipation that, yeah, you know, there was going to be, you know, all of the image, you know, you're going to probably have like Invincible appear, Spawn appear, all of your, you know, your, your image, like all your image big sort of like heroes, villains, and stuff. And it's kind of like the way they've they're setting it up is a little bit, a little bit separated mm -hmm. from that. It's like its own little small story with obviously you know Ellie and, and obviously the comic book shop owner and all that. So that's that's where I think some people have lost that disconnect. I personally I've read issue three and I'm like now okay this is starting to go the way that I wanted to where they're obviously what's the name of the the that that like odd little group of superheroes? Uh, the paybacks. The paybacks, yeah. It was, so, I felt I felt like issue three was pretty much an advert to go and buy the paybacks oh, yeah, uh, yeah, trade yeah. or or the single issues, and I was like, what? Like, am I just yeah. reading? Like, this the second half of this book just an advert? Like, yeah. like I like it's like I appreciate that you said this was where I started to ramp up for number three, but mm -hmm. when I saw that, for me, it just I was just like, come on, like, don't yeah. do this. <laughs> like, See, I love scraping the barrel of <laughs> like life uh in general but like when, like when they the take name, characters the from the shadows of like despair and bring them to the forefront there's a documentary on disney plus as part of um a series of marvel documentaries and one of them is, is where a comedian legends? basically yeah uh yeah. not legends thing. it's the it's six on six, six, on six. six. yeah there's Sorry. one they Simon Furman talks about one of the things he did. It's amazing. I love Simon Furman. Yeah, and it's the Brute Force episode where <laughs> they basically kind of take Brute Force, which was like a horrendous, like, you know, forgotten Marvel comic from back in the day, and they, they bring it kind of to the forefront. And I kind of love that. And I think it, it's all done in a kind of tongue-in-cheek way. And I think the Paybacks thing, he he kind of knows that it's not like they're not going to be the next Avengers. Do you know what I mean? And it's all a little, and, and I guess it's when you take those characters, you can kind of have fun with it and do things that you might not be able to do with it. Like, cause they'll probably die horribly. Yes. I imagine in, in the next couple of issues and he, he can do that because it's yeah. the paybacks. 
if it yeah. was like then, anyone else you can't yeah. do it I, you know no. i heard um i heard an interview on one on a channel uh for a video i was watching the other day and it was sort of like they were talking about um you know obviously everybody's gutted that donny cates is leaving uh obviously venom uh, because he's kind of like made like an anti-hero like a lot more relevant and um, he's developed that sort of like character of like the your sort of relationship between your Eddie Brock and the symbiote as well as Dylan so he's a lot more of a lot he's, he's very much more a likable hero type character now so and I think yeah with the paybacks is he going to make them really relevant when they weren't relevant before or like you say chances are something's going to happen and everybody's just going to just <laughs> get wiped out. I reckon they'll get pied off. <laughs> yeah, cannon fodder, mate, 100%. But that'll be cool because really? it'll have an element of shock, won't it? Do you know what I mean? Which will be which will be cool to see, I think. Not uh, crossover related at all, but has anyone seen that you can buy clear backing boards now so you can see the back of your comic if it's a wraparound? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> they, they a BCW thing, are they? That yeah. is revolutionary. Yeah. Because then you don't have to buy, you know, if you haven't got the money or, or don't want to see you see it, and you, but you still want to see the back of your comic, you just put a clear backing board in it. No. Yeah. It's such a simple idea. It's like, why has no one ever come up with that before? But at the same time, it's blown my mind. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Here, you saw it here first, Ben. Yeah. Oh, no, really I've after it. this, I'm getting on eBay, Sam. Tom, is this yeah. where you drop in a plug available and not quite mint? Uh, I hope so, mate. At some point, I think he's building to it. That's yeah, right. His segways aren't that smooth, guys. We'll we'll know when when it comes because it will hit us in the face like a train. <laughs> um, next up, though, uh, we've got again some more shiny action. Shine, oh, shiny, shiny. So these are the John Jiang, um, John Jiang, small uh, set. So again, we've got the foil. Uh, and then obviously the, uh, the standard. What covers better, Rich? Like I know you mentioned on Sunday, or was it Saturday on um, Andy's show that oh, the foil version, the foil version of crossover. What one would you say is better? Because obviously we're seeing it on the screen. Yeah, it's. Um, I Shall think I up big so we can see it a bit better. Make yeah. my monster grow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think if you look, um, this is the non-foil. So let's get it at an angle. Mm -hmm. the, the def if you take this guy here, yeah, uh, he's, he's the definition in his, his in his face, yeah. and the, these other guys, he's really really clear on the mm -hmm. non foil. So I would say they do look a little bit washed out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, all it is a foil, isn't it? It's just a wash over the top. Yeah. yeah. So you can sort of see you can't really see as much like of the dark definition in his face, or this yeah. guy almost disappears, you know. But um, yeah, but it it has got like it's got that shelf appeal, but like mm -hmm. you say, you probably can't properly see the art, like all the yeah. detail, and that's half of the appeal with uh, Alan Clark, isn't it? So, um, but yeah, but moving on to the last couple, last pile of books. So this is one that I've got. A, I've been trying to pick up bits and bobs from Fantastic Four from Silver Age, but I'm trying to start with the big keys and then I'll fill in the gaps with the uh, with like the cheaper ones. And this is not, a, it, I, but I'm not bothered about condition really. I, you know, I, I'm happy with a 1.8, a 2.0, whatever. You know, I, I will slab them and I'll just keep them. But um, this is one of the first. God, let's hope Jason Parker's not watching, eh? <laughs> yeah, but this is uh, as I say, it was it was the right price for what I wanted to pay for it, and it's uh, I think second appearance of the of Galactus. I think it's the third mm. Silver Surfer or whatever. But it's a book that's just such an iconic like Kirby cover, um, and I just it was just the right mm. it was the right kind of money just to spend some of my Christmas money on. I mean, it'll be like a two point oh or a three point oh when I when I send it to CGC, but it's something that. I badly wanted so that whole story is incredible though. Like that that Galactus mm. story arc is is yeah. really like yeah. defining of the age. I think hundred percent. I mean, I'm, I am like that. That's what I'm building up towards. But um, obviously, I think it's issue. 
48, which is the first Silver Surfer and Cameo Galactus, and that's like already talking six, seven hundred pounds. So it's going to take a while to get that. And then um, I think it's 49. You can pick those up for around about 400, but again, it's a lot of money. So it's yeah. going to take a bit of time. It might be worth knocking on Mr. Hydra Collectibles' door because <laughs> I believe that he might have a copy and I believe that he might be considering selling bits and bobs at the moment. So oh, okay. oh, plug, plug, plug. <laughs> you never know. Well, he's got to buy dogs. It's it's hydro collectibles dot com. Dog. Www yeah. dot. I'm going to buy a dog. <laughs> uh, I don't mean, I don't mean it in a, as I say, but yeah, if he if he is indeed, like I probably would be interested for something fair around that anyway and then going back to my love of star wars again you guys would have seen this uh on the thing and, and I, I, I wanted to show this one because since uh since we did the show uh, on perpetual is a really unfortunate place to put a lightsaber i was thinking exactly the same yeah, like uh, placement. You've got inappropriate placement of the lightsaber but also a lot of people are saying like it looks like his shoulders are down here. He's got really mm -hmm. short arms and a really yeah. long neck. Yeah, I can see that. And it's like once you see it, you can't unsee yeah. it. You know what I mean? No, so, I think people are cynical. Yeah. One, that's where you hold a lightsaber. Grow up. And two, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like from a graphic designer's point of view, that is a nightmare. Yeah, my like playing I'm havoc sure. with my brave. Oh my god, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm biased because I'm a big Star Wars nerd. Quick one, Rich. I probably yeah. could ask you this, uh, not on a live show, but do you have, um, have you got any uh, Darth Maul number threes knocking about? What, Darth Vader's? Darth Maul number three. So I oh, sorry, the third, literally the ordered third, Darth Maul number three twice, and twice it yeah. either wasn't sent out and the seller had to like refund me. Well, yeah, that's what happened twice. And now like it's just really... There's one on there for like silly money, and, and I just cannot find one. So, that, yeah, that has happened in the last week because I've been picking up uh, Star Wars keys, um, and I've bought like the first cameo uh, appearances of Darth Maul for, and it's like a wizard half issue uh, of Phantom Menace, and then there's like um, another Phantom Mes Menace book with like Kai Gon. It's like the photo variant that I've picked up, but. But both of those books in this last week, I've seen people saying, "Oh, what's happened? What's wrong with these books? Why have they gone up in price?" And I bought, I bought them literally like two weeks ago. So it was like, I'm fortunate that I've got in there. But I had my eye on the. Uh, I'm a the massive Bale. Cad Bane fan, and yeah. it's the. I, I think it's the first cover. It's definitely the first cover appearance, but it's mm. might be the first appearance as well, or cameo at least. I think. Yeah, so, yeah. so uh, they're just uh, every, it, literally it's with Star Wars and it's causing me a bit of a nightmare. And this will work be where I finish my haul, but literally people are jumping from one book to the next from week to week. So if you if it happens to be that that week that you think, oh, I want to get first appearance of Assage Ventress or something like that, if you happen to be like the wrong side of the wind. Everybody jumps on is jumping on those books at the you moment. Definitely don't want to be anywhere near the wrong side of someone's wind, <laughs> mate. Whichever way it blows, do you know what I mean? Anyway, can I just say, Rich, I live a very lonely life as a Star Wars fan. So to hear someone else say the words Asajj Ventress, literally, I've got an erection. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Me and you, mate, hold up the, color color like the, the thing is, we're always on a show with, with this one over here who uh, numerous times will tell me, I don't like Star Wars. I don't oh, like Star Wars. Wars. And I bet and you love Star Trek, Trek, didn't you? I don't like Star Trek, no. Okay, then we would fall out. <laughs> I, do, I do like Star Wars, just not as much as Rich. Yeah, that's what I mean. But every time like we talk about Star Wars, Tom's like, oh, yeah, I really like it. Again, Tom likes everything. But like it's <laughs> the show. Tom likes everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, like, it, 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 you know, and it's it's quite surprising, actually, how much Star Wars stuff Tom actually knows. It's just he's not out the Star Wars closet yet. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, give him time. We'll we'll maybe when there's a celebration Europe again, we'll we'll t hold your hand. And oh, yeah. it's oh, my please. dream. To do to go there, I've never been, and I'd love. And to you go. know, did, do you know what it was the <laughs> it was the first ever like convention that I ever went to, and I was sixteen years old. It was that first U celebration Europe that it was in London, and um, I went with my mum. 
<laughs> and it was honestly, it was like bloody Disneyland. You're making for Charlie Star Wars fans. It was unbelievable. <laughs> did, you dress um, up? Did, you, did you dress up for that one? I, I didn't because I was. Kind of, I, I, I don't think I'd even got into kind of costuming or cosplay at that point at 16 that was sort of uni and beyond um, so yeah no I went there uh, virgin- uh, virginity intact um, and we met uh, we met Ray Park and I'll never forget this but he, he was really nice and, and you know I, I was speechless um, and my mum said to him you were very good in the movie and yeah, it just made my day. And he was like, "Thank you." Um, yeah, so there you go. That's um, that's that's how cool <laughs> I am. Yeah, that's how cool you are. <laughs> so last but one book. So from we'll get Scott on in a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm, I went. I managed to pick up uh, Star Wars issue two. Nice. So very. Very happy to finally add this to the collection. Uh, first appearance, I believe, of uh, I think it's Han Solo and Chewbacca and sort of like the, all those main characters. But like this is a nice copy as well. I don't. It's not a nine eight, but again, I didn't pay, pay a nine eight price for it. But you know, spine's looking pretty cool. Uh, and again, it will be because uh, I've read all these like years ago and digitally and i've got like collected editions and stuff like that so i don't need to read it so it will be will be slabbed for and never leave my sight ever again as will this one oh, oh. holy grail alert so this mm. literally I, I think i've spoke to tom about this loads haven't i like you've got gsx one and all of a sudden, this started blowing up. Obviously, around Christmas time, with the you know, with everything that was that was going on, and I was just like, I'm not having a GSX one situation with this. And I, again, because I'm going to keep it forever, I'm not that bothered about like you know, I don't need it to be a nine eight. I just want the book, mm. and this is not a nine eight. I mean, like you can see, spine ticks galore. If it's, I don't really care about the grade, but do you know what I mean? I'm so happy to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a big uh, mate. Yeah, so happy days, but yeah, got it. Happy, yeah. happy as Larry. And at some point, we can all laugh at me when I get like a 1.0 at some point later in the year. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> I'll take that all day long, mate. I'm done. Yeah, I did. I, I wouldn't give a shit either, to be fair. It was right. right I'll yeah. thanks everyone for coming. You can all yeah. go now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <bye. laughs> But yeah, no. So yeah, that's me done. Uh, happy days, and uh, yeah, very happy. But those are all like post Christmassy Christmas time sort of purchases for me. So awesome, Tom. Back to you, mate. Yeah. Right then, Scott. What you got? Well, okay. Uh, so this is a lot of um, just everything I've got this month. You can keep it under ten minutes. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, it's just everything I've got this month. I've probably got one book that I bought off, like, an auction on Facebook that is from, like, ages ago. But, okay, so first up, Future State Flash, issue one. Oh, I really me. enjoyed it. Like, I only bought it because of the Flash fanness. Um, but based on all the videos that um, Shane has been doing, I've been uh, watching them. He has been absolutely slating the Future State stuff. But he actually said... Has he? This, has he yeah. really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But this, is, this is one of the ones that he actually enjoys and i agree with him um it it it, it does it well um you know they didn't slate it and i'm happy about that as as a flash fan personally scott did you read the suicide squad one no this oh is the God. only future state book i've read i was reading it's it the other night i thought oh, i'm gonna give this a chance i fell asleep on about page no three I, oh. I did the same thing today. honestly it was <laughs> shocking like that's yeah. the first future state book I've read from the series, and I was like, "This is wh- where's this going?" It's shocking, really. Yeah. Well, goes to show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Charlie's review. <laughs> <laughs> shocking, mate. Uh, next up, then Origins issue three um, from Boom Studios. I was really excited about the series as a whole, like before it started coming out. There's only six issues altogether, um, but I think I think I've I'm quite underwhelmed. Um, okay. By it. Um, I think I'm only just carrying on with it because it's only six issues, and I think it would sell easier as a set. 
You was um, really behind this as well, weren't you? Like you was I was. Really I was so it. up for it. Basically, like I love the premise, but yeah. I know I'll give you like the art just puts me off. Like how weird that is. <laughs> it's just just not. I think Ben's not, dressed as that well. once. Ben, have you dressed as? Have you done that? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. What was it? I zoned out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he zoned uh, out. Well, thanks for coming, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. What the skinny one? Yeah, <laughs> it's the one so on the double page spread. All right, good. Cheers. Brilliant. <laughs> I just don't. I don't know. It's just. Charlie, it's I just can't do your stream you know? at nine o'clock, mate. Sorry, pal. That's right, mate. It, yeah. So, like, the story is cool. It just seems a bit slow paced, a bit flat, and a bit weird. And I'm just not. I'm just reading it now. That's the thing. And I'm just going right. It's six mm. issues altogether. Whatever. And I'm just gonna finish it and just try and move it on. Next up, though, we've got uh, We Live issue two. And then there's issue one. I've just read issue the first three. issue of We Live. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think I think issue one, I only jumped on it because of the hype, because was it they had a low print issue of the first yeah. print and it was just selling like for like 20, 30 quid, wasn't it, on eBay? Um, thankfully, Philip sent me this uh for free i was really i was really tough for that but then oh, yeah so I, I, I bought the other the other two issues and i got issue four on its way at the moment um but it's really nice it's a really good story like yeah like you know bad stuff happens but overall i'm finding it a nice story if you know yeah. what i mean um i'm glad you agree uh yeah um and then one book i am enjoying that i think more people should get into and i know tom from this month in movies he's reading it is heavy this is issue four, um, and these are the cover Bs. Uh, this is that's issue three. There, uh, they're all all the cover Bs are just like red, and they've got that kind of silhouette-y kind of look there. Um, it's a mental book. Um, the first issue just started off really silly and crazy, and just sexual innuendos everywhere, and it's just a totally right. uh, sign me up. <laughs> okay, it's just a totally. Is this is the is this the one that um, where it's like. They're kind of like in an almost like an alternate heaven of like limbo. So they're like yeah, the, they're almost so, like a police force for limbo. Yeah. So, yeah. so so you die and you end up going to a place called the Big Weight, <clears throat> and you all get a job. And uh, the, the the main character Bill, oh, he's, yeah, the main character Bill, he he becomes a heavy, and he's just basically this kind of. Uh, he goes around patrolling the multiverse for bad people. And the first issue, you see like a naked evil version of Leonardo DiCaprio. No, not DiCaprio. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know the sign one. Sign me up. I said who, sign who, me up. Sign who, me who up again. Trying to say? Ben, you know, ben, da Vinci. Da Vinci. Da Vinci to say. Yes. Oh. And um, yeah, just a naked I, uh... mental version of him. And it just blows him up with a rocket launcher. And just, it's just, but from there, this starts mental, but it gets in, in issue four. There's actually a, a tangible good story going along with it, and now I'm actually looking at it for the story and not just the mental crazy uh, stuff and lots of penises. I'm not looking at it, penises, but there is a lot of penises there. Sign, sign, me up. sign me up. <laughs> there's a hell of a lot of cock in that issue one, yes. Yeah. 100%. In all the issues, there's just cock everywhere. Rich, that is <laughs> my favourite thing you've ever said <laughs> on any of these videos. Uh, this is the book I won off the uh, Facebook auction. Uh, oh, nice. I don't. I think it's it's one of the forty something issues of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's a foil. Um, got it for the low low price of three pound. I was chuffed with that. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's the only one. That's the only helmet variant book I have, and I'd love to get them all. But I'd also like to have money. So yeah, true, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not. Gonna get, I'm not going to get them all. Um, and then I've saved the best to last. Seven Secrets issue six. Yes. Uh, hey. Ah, stick book. Loved it. I I was actually sodding. Same way, hundred percent. I was um, in tears, hundred yeah. percent. A bit of a mess, but then it's it's the thing. Like you're crying on one page, and then you're in an absolute awe in the next page, yeah. and it's just fantastic. And um, yeah, you know, I've um, I just I just love it. Like I've I just keep commenting on um, Tom Taylor and Dan De Um They're they're just the pictures of Sam G. I'm like I bloody love this. But yeah, so that's this is the end of the. First, you know, art, some people call that stalk stalking stuff. <laughs> potato, potato. Whatever. Man, isn't that how we met? <laughs> um, 
but I know, uh, Tom, that you're interested in I am. these uh, secret spoiler variant covers. Yeah. Um, so that's they really only cool bring... Concept. Say it again. I think that's such a cool concept that they've done. It is. Um, they only bring these out when one of the cases are opened in the stories. Um, so, so this one came with issue one. Um, so if you don't want to see it, if you don't want to get spoiled, don't look. Um, don't look. But uh, so yeah, it comes like that. It's really nice. You know, this is what the suitcase looks like in the story, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it basically shows you a uh, glimpse of what is in the suitcase. And that is lovely. How much did I go for, Scott? But this was cover price. Isn't that um, amazing, Charlie? How they've done that. But it comes so in cool. the case. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Um, and then, but I was thinking, sorry, though. Scott. If you if you was to CGC that, how would they do that, Rich? Would they? How would they yeah. do it? Would they do it? As the briefcase or the actual comic, that I, I, I genuinely, I think it would cause them to have a meltdown. But generally speaking, I think that what they would, they would just grade the comic, so that that you could send the whole thing. But I think they'd just grade the book, and they'd probably the like the front and the back mm -hmm. case piece. I think they'd just send that back to you in a in a separate bag and board, or I'll fold it up in in and put it in a really <laughs> small envelope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but what I was I was gutted that when they sent this one, you had all this. Yeah, I was like, where's you know, where's all the? Why isn't it plain like the other one? You know, why isn't mm. it plain like that? It looks way smarter that way. Yeah. Um, and again, I'll show you this if you want to see, but if you don't want to see, don't look because it will spoil stuff in the uh, in the last issue. Okay, here we go. A butterfly. A butterfly. Yeah, but it, it, it shows what is involved with that suitcase. Um, a beautiful so, butterfly. Yeah, and it's just... A beautiful know, they're, butterfly. They're just awesome. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get all yeah, seven. Great, mate. Um, and what the cool thing is as well about Seven Secrets is that they're having... Um, they're reprinting the first six issues and they're all coming out on February 10th. Um, and it's like a really, like, um, co uh, concurrent... Um, little cover run, isn't it? So the first yeah. issue will have uh, just the main character on it, and then second issue will have a few more, and then third will have a few more, and they're all going to keep going like that. So I've pre-ordered all of them, so they'll be coming soon. Um, but that is me. Was that under awesome, 10 minutes? Man. I think that was bang on. Awesome. Bang on 10 minutes, mate. Yeah. That's that me. Pretty good, mate. That's uh, so, punctuality uh, at its best. Yeah. We'll throw Charlie into the ring, then. <laughs> nice. ding, 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 ding. How are you doing? Oh, all yeah. good. Right. So, I've gone down the route of just getting, like, starting a new little bit of a collection. But these, who doesn't like Looney Tunes? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, so this this came out as a standard cover, and it's a variant as well. But this is just awesome. It's like Looney Tunes meets DC. They've done quite Charlie, a few Charlie, what are you doing to me? I'm going <laughs> to get on eBay after this now. It's so cool. There's so this cool. one. And then there's Daffy Duck one. is my spirit animal. Can I just say? Oh, Sylvester and Tweety. Cool. They've drawn to uh, Tweety and Sylvester, so they're realistic. That's wicked. Yeah. Tell me, you got Batman and Elmer Fudd, right? No, I haven't. This is what I'm saying. This is when I'm going to get that. Net. I want to get the. Um, there's a Tell Harley it. Quinn one, and um, oh, I can't remember the name of the character, but it is. They do about five or six of them. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a variant cover for this one where. I think Catwoman is trying to Heimlich maneuver um, Sylvester because he's eating Tweety by. Nice. And it's done in like that style as well. That's so cool. I picked up that. Um, and then I also... Bugs Bunny in um, Superman one. Yeah. See, I want to get kind of all of them. I sit on it and I was like, oh, I'm going to go for it. The um, the Joker and Daffy one was about seven pound. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of... I've, so... started, I've started something now. Um, and then I also got this bad boy as well. For three pounds, nice. Cool. That's Shame a cool one way it's three D no. throughout. Yeah, but I really want to open it, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, the Jason Aaron run on four is great. Yeah, Buy another so one. Good. So good. And that's the thing. And then I'd already own these. Like these are the Infinity Warps, Arachnite, and then you've got Soldier Supreme. Nice. I see this comic number six that goes with them. Oh, so I picked cool. up this comic as well. Who's the artist? Like ability, mate. The artist on that, it doesn't actually say. But now I just need to pick up Iron Hammer. 
Is it Olivia Coppell? It's really nice. I can't. I, I recognise it, but I can't put my finger on it straight away. It, um, Javier Garon and Israel Silva, Mark Brooks. Silva, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. But nice. That, that was basically me this week. I, I was, I was a bit bored. I picked up my trades the other week, about fifteen of them. Um, yeah. So I've been reading through them. Oh, Scott had a mad one on eBay. Thought, yeah, there weren't no, my comics didn't come, so I thought I'd go and pick up a few of them. And then I got them Daffy Duck covers and stuff like that. So I thought you might like them, Ben. So it's a pretty light week, but it's still interesting. Yeah, um, I'm literally getting like really... that Daffy Duck cover immediately when this stream finishes. Those, yeah. those DC Looney Tunes are lovely. I mean, I think it's the um, there's the Green Lantern one with the little mm -hmm. um, space Ma dude. Marvin, Marvin, the Marvin. Marvin, so good. That's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But I was only looking, I was literally looking at a comic and that popped up and I was like, oh, I'll have a look into it. And then I was like, oh, God's sake. I'm <laughs> telling you guys, the new legacy film is going to bring the Looney Tunes back to everybody's attention. So we might be getting more, more Looney Tunes variants. But the Batman Elmer Fudd, like, cover aside, it's actually just an incredible comic book. Like, it's just a really cool comic book. Um and it's, but if you're like a Looney Tunes fan, it, it just resonates mm. on a on another level. I think the, Har the Harley Quinn one is the, is it Grosoma? The character Grosoma? Oh, the big red The thing. red guy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Rich is on it, mate. Rich knows his they're stuff. So, they're so cool, honestly. Like, and the kids love them. They're like, oh, I might get away from them. Do not touch. Um, I think that Thor is going to shoot up in value as well, mate, because I think, um, obviously, we're going to get Jane Foster, you mm. know, helming the uh the the title in love and thunder so i think that story is going to play quite a big part potentially and it's in really good condition and like again if i was to send this off they wouldn't would they they, would, they just wouldn't take the glasses out i guess it'd be like that wouldn't it don't know rich mate. you were saying earlier about yeah, seller regret i used to have all of those keys for that door run <coughs> i got rid of them all when i had a little uh yeah i got rid of everything about five years ago and regret yeah. <laughs> oh then i'll tell you what regret is i stole half of my collection so i could buy a massive um uh, spider-man print signed by stan lee in that collection was a marco dercevic variant cover of ultimate fallout 4 oh my god yeah. <laughs> i think rich has lost his volume it looks like he was making Sorry, a really yeah. valid point there. all of those prints yeah. man yeah, oh. so annoying. There's a few other things in there that I sold thinking they weren't worth anything. At the time, they weren't. But we learn from our mistakes, gentlemen. Yeah. So. yeah. Anyway, that's been from from you and everything's <laughs> worth loads of money now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we're all done, I think, aren't we? That's it. Everyone's had their turn, haven't they? Uh, mm. <laughs> I'm sure Richard fair, has when, more. when I show you what I've got, you might be saying that. Um, go on, yeah. Just it, do you know what the problem now coming on this every two weeks is that it's um <laughs> it gets a bit tight to to have new stuff to show every time but i did get finally my gleason spidey nice. crew um nice. so i yeah i'm i'm absolutely uh yeah chuffed chuffed to get that because it's kind of shot up in value uh pretty much straight away and um, it's it's a weird one really because i i really dislike the story uh inside i'm not on board at the moment with um you know the whole kindred thing and, and just spider-man in general at the moment but that being said i think if historically if you look back at a lot of iconic spider-man covers is the story necessarily that good do you even remember the story do you know what i mean like so i still think that that you know that that cover is is definitely going to go down as as one to one to have um are you are, are you going to get the uh, the Trump variant of that? The Trump, uh, yeah. So it's, it's not it's not a variant of that comic though. It's another. It's, no, it's like it's a, homage, a, a really yeah. random indie comic that has done it. I think um, it's got amazing um, sticker fans. Collection of all his uh, tweets and things that he's done throughout the, his presidency that have got him into trouble. Basically, <sighs> we have one on notquitemint.com. Nice. 
I don't know whether we need to remember that. Um, is it, do you know what I mean? It's like owning like um, like Hitler's most memorable quotes. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't necessarily <laughs> need that in your collection. Anyway, um, this is from notquitemint.com. Hey, um, cheeky plug. It came with an exclusive Not Quite Mint sticker. Ooh. which I was particularly Ooh. excited by. But no, mint condition, absolutely a beautiful cover. Um, and yeah, I think on Charlie's stream this evening at 9pm, we will be delving into uh, Strange Academy. Um, so I'm going to save my chat and opinions for that. But it's um, a, a really beautiful cover. And I think obviously with uh, hashtag WandaVision hype, uh, is is through the roof at the moment. So, um, well, Tom's just put the price up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, mate, mug them off. Um, I'm completely now, sold out. That's it for comics. But I'm going to be. I'm going to go really left field now because Are we I think he's showing. Yeah, well, here's a can of Coke that I. No, <laughs> um, I think collecting obviously comes in all have. shapes and sizes. I mean, yeah, how can you can't beat that, can you? This is only that. I want a shiny one. Um, yes, yeah, so I turned into a 12 year old boy. I regressed and I went out and got myself a Road to WrestleMania sticker collection book. Um, and I tell you what, right? I bought uh, 10 packs of you know, booster packs or whatever, <laughs> and not one double. Oh, did you He's get getting some, shiny, right? some shinies, yeah. Well, then I went on eBay and I started my cheat and, you know, where you select the ones that you need. Um, and I thought, oh, God, I'm, I'm, you know, I must be making good headway here. And then I counted how many I've got left to go. I've still got 150. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And also, um, again, random collectibles. But these are something that I always tend to collect when uh, the time of year comes around. But I'm a big advocate of the charity Red Nose Day, um, which is coming up in February. And the new noses are out, guys. Um, so this <laughs> is uh, Tommy and then you got Robin there. Now, okay. Um, <laughs> Let's go deep. I'm all for saving the planet, okay? I, 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 could, I could use the planet, right? Um, but McDonald's straws... Okay, I struggle with. I really struggle with. Do you know what I mean? Like this, a soggy straw, right? These are now cardboard. Like these are. Yeah, these are like a one size fits all. Recyclable, so they don't like. I am literally. There's no pressure on there. Now the problem with that is if you have quite a wide nose, like one does. That ain't going nowhere. Like, ah, oh, well, to be fair. Oh, no, see? So, yeah. But anyway, um, really fun to collect. Uh, I think there's about eight uh, available. So it's just a fun game. You know, I love that lucky dip element of um, opening some it and seeing if you've got the one that you need and stuff. But generally speaking, people do frown upon you if you um, hang out in school playgrounds trying to trade with the kids. Um, I'm just... Yeah. From a friend's experience, you know, <laughs> I don't do it. Ben, didn't you get a book as well? Uh, yeah, I threw that all the way. So nice. Oh, I didn't recycle it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not saving the planet there, mate. <laughs> but, yeah, that's me. So some pretty weird left field. Oh, and um, uh, I never thought I'd say this out loud, but I am starting a diorama. Uh, my very own diorama. So, um, you've been watching too much Hydra, have you? I, I know the guy, the, like, as much as he irritates me, he's very um, influential. Um, <laughs> he's a man, but, uh, yeah, is he in the chat? It'll be, no, yeah, no. I love he doesn't, he, he doesn't knows a lot that anymore, mate. I think I've done to it to upset him. <laughs> it's probably me saying things like that, <laughs> but no, um, basically, uh, I've got a, a fiend, uh, WWE the Fiend figure and I've got a Bray Wyatt figure and I've got Fire, Firefly Funhouse bits and bobs and stuff. So I'm going to build like a proper Firefly Funhouse oh, diorama. Can. I'm going to be painting the walls. Um, I've got, I like, bought like a little blanket today, like a little bor borrower's blanket and a, and a chair and stuff. So yeah, um, 
the sooner this lockdown finishes, the better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need to get you out, mate. <laughs> but that's me, Dan. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. That was awesome, guys. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of the of the hall show. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Um, shall we go round and everyone can say what's going on on their channel? So might as well start with you, Ben, because you're at the far end. I'm back. Are you just starting, you? Um, I start, don't ruin my flow. I was come Sorry. on. It was a big moment there. Oh my um, God. <laughs> so a lot of people, you know, people have been flooding online forums, and and you know, my inbox has been like bursting. Into my, oh, come back, Ben! Come back! We miss you. Like all these other guys, don't know what they're doing. Not very entertaining. So I'm back, okay, and uh, I'm going to do a weekly show, which is basically on Instagram. Um, Andy from Perpetual Comics probably should have trademarked the idea, but he's been doing best cover and things like that. So I've, I've been doing best cover, best panel, and best read of the week. Uh, and it's basically just that, but um, with my uh, little monotone uh, quips in between. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, you know, no, the videos won't be longer than 10 minutes. It's just 10 minutes each week. I might be bringing things to your attention that you didn't know about, in which case, great. Um, if you did already know about it, then, um, of course, I'll provide you with um, uh, hours of uh, laughter after you finish watching. It, it carries on the laughter. It doesn't stop. <laughs> Can't wait. So, yeah, Love Attention it. Seeking Geek uh, over <laughs> on YouTube. Um, please give us a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and obviously, um, I'm on Instagram constantly kind of sharing comics, uh, red noses, and WWE stickers. Awesome. Happy day. And Charlie, what about you, mate? Killer Comic Show, nine o'clock on a Thursday, and then the top releases for comics on a Monday, consistent every Monday at 12 p.m. Uh, and I've got some special guests on tonight, the bad boys of comics. We've got Ben. We've got yourself and we've got Andy from Perpetual Comics. So nice. we'll be discussing um, this week's uh, releases that have come out. And we've got someone special in the chat as well. So we've got one of the artists from the comic. So uh, that should be interesting. She'll be answering your questions as well as she can. Um, bearing in mind that she's Italian, so she ain't going to be able to understand my Cockney charm. Um, I'll translate. And she definitely ain't going to be able to understand Andy. So this is going to be a hell of a fun show. So, uh, <laughs> None of us do, <laughs> I don't understand your Cockney charm or Andy. So, you know, <laughs> no one's got any chance. Are you but kidding? Yeah. Cockney is the Queen's language, mate. You should know that. Uh, like, this ain't, it ain't the Queen's language, mate. I can't imagine the Queen talking like me. <laughs> 100%. It does. It's all for show. All for but show. yeah, that's it. Every Monday and a Thursday, you get to see this ugly mug on your, on your, on your, on your screens. So. Happy days, mate. It's just what we want. Uh, go on then, Scott. What have you got coming up? So coming up, I've got a brand new show. It's called Comic Airwaves. It's going to be at the end of every month, and it's going to be the best video-styled radio show based on comics that you've ever seen. <laughs> um, it's going to be it's going to be chock full of features and a lot of fun and interactivity. And I want people to get involved. It's going to be a community-driven show. So. The people watching call the shot pretty much. You know, if you like something, say. If you don't say, if you want it longer, shorter, uh, you know, if you want if you want new bits, if you want old bits, oh, you just say. And it's 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 gonna be a show revolved around the people watching and what they want, pretty much. And um, you know, the first episode is gonna be really fun. I've got a lot of stuff planned. And Philip from Phil's Nudiverse will be joining me. He'll be my co-host, sidekick, glamorous assistant, and uh it's gonna be Glamorous. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Saturday is the first one. So two days, uh, half a state in the PM, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So turn up, uh, join in because it's going to be better that way. And, uh, and yeah, that'll be it. How, so how long is it going to go on for, Scott? Is it what is it like an hour? Not two hours? Blue. Definitely okay. an hour. <laughs> But the amount of stuff, this is literally a massive learning curve now because I've got so much planned. I've got so many like little um, clips to show, like you know the the ones that yourself and Ben did. The 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 superhero team, they'll mm -hmm. be turning up in the uh, in in that show as well um, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's um, definitely an hour. Mm -hmm. I want to say max hour and a half. But I hope. Can I just not. give a disclaimer for my new channel? It's definitely not community based. My, my channel is <laughs> not community. No community. Sorry, I just, yeah, just that's, to, yeah, that's me. 
That's me. And then every Wednesday, I'm on the Nerd Herd as well, then uh, over at that channel, the Nerd Herd Comic Book Club. Yeah. Awesome. Happy days. Awesome. Rich, what have we got coming up? I've got this. Well, so I've got I've got more stuff coming back from CGC. So uh, that will be out in the next probably week or so. Depends on how we're going to plan it out. Um, well, we've got comics with friends. We're going to be recording hopefully over the weekend. So we'll have a new guest uh, to show all you guys. So uh, that's going to be big one. Exciting. Ooh. You, go, you just mate, you are telling me who that is once this live stream finishes. Until, up. Hell no. until, until we've we've done it, I'm like, I don't I'm not too sure. Oh, okay. okay. But I really do before. hope it does. So really looking forward to that. Um and uh yeah, obviously every Tuesday we've got the key uh key comics uh matchup that we're gonna be starting uh, next tuesday and uh, obviously every other thursday we do this so two weeks time we'll be back with more wonderful people and uh yeah i think that's pretty much it isn't it mate yeah uh, apart from because i hadn't mentioned it that i am dropping the final episode of the ross ritchie interview haven't you done now like 18 or something it just yeah guys you've done such a good job with that because his you, you you managed to get some real nuggets like out of him, and I know Charlie did a good job when he had him on as well. Um, so it's uh, it, it's quite cool to kind of see him appear at different you know places you know within our little uh, uh, world. So um, yeah, yeah cool, uh, they've been good to watch. It was yeah, he's he's awesome. He's pretty. I mean, awesome. I couldn't interview him. Can you imagine? But yeah, <laughs> you, you've done a good job. We are we are hopefully. Fingers crossed. I am in talk to them about coming back on to talk to me about Berserker once it's out. Yeah, nice. Um, to talk about like how the development came about and why it happened and you know what's going to do with the future with it. I don't think the development took that long. I think I think they've gone right. Keanu Reeves is so in right now. Let's yeah. make him invincible and put him in a comic. Well, apparently the way he sold it to Ross, from what, what Ross told me, was he walked into into Ross's office and said, basically, I want to I want to punch a dude through the chest. Yeah. And Ross, was like, Done. and Ross was like, yeah, how would, how would you, what's the answer you say to Keanu Reeves on that? <laughs> Sold. Who's Sold the answer is, I'd let him punch chest. me through the chest if he had asked that, to be fair. Yeah. I'd say All right, well, that is actually it. So uh, thank you ever so much for joining us, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. And thank, thank you for bringing your box along and showing us what you've got. Um, so, yeah. On that note, does everyone want to wave goodbye? Because it is stay safe, stay sexy. And I've got fun.